Hey, it's Morgan coming to you from Highland Cycles with our next review. We're going to be talking about the Tusk Recon Hybrid Tire today. So, as a lot of you guys know, Tusk just came out with this tire, uh, which is Rocky Mountain ATV. Is Tusk is their brand of uh, parts and things like that. It just came out with this tire. It's supposed to be a hybrid. It's not really supposed to be a gummy. It's supposed to be a hybrid tire, so kind of a mix between a Trials and a Nobby. Everybody's been talking about it, going crazy. They're $59.99 on their website. So I figured, why not try it, right? And why not try it on the Highland Cycles Death March? Because there's really no better way to test something than actually going and beating on it for a really long time. If you guys don't know what the Death March is, go back into our YouTube archives, just a two, three videos. You'll see what it is. Basically 212 miles around Taylor Park, hammering a motorcycle, hammering all the gear, all the parts on it uh, for 15 hours worth of riding. So it's a good way to test. We're not some shiny, fancy, overproduced channel like a lot of guys out there that have everything perfect and it's like, oh, okay, great. And they go ride at a relatively mild pace and all that. Check this out right here. Okay, that's what we were doing all day long, right? <laughs> no messing around, no like gold's barred, 100% honest opinion here with this thing because I paid full boat for it. No one gave it to me. So I paid, actually by the time I got it here, it was $69.99 more or less um, because of shipping and tax. So let's take a look. First of all, we got it on our 2018 KTM 250 XCW, ridden by me almost all the miles. Uh, let's take a look at the tire, because that's a big question, right? Everybody wants to know how they hold up. All right, so you can see, get in here tight. That is the tire with actually more like 240 miles on it, because after I rode this on the Death March, it went out on a rental and a guy took it up Imogene Pass, and then it kind of passes and kind of cruising around on it. So it's actually got a few more miles on it than just the Death March. That thing to me looks totally awesome. I'm really happy with the way that held up. It's gonna last, I think, a really long time for me, for tires. It's not gonna be a 5,000 mile tire. It's not gonna be a, even a thousand mile tire, but if I can get, oh, if I can get six, 700 miles out of it before I feel like it's worn out, I'll be really happy. There was a lot of speculation about this tire being just a 505 cheater, um, more or less. It is not. I can say 100%. First of all, tread pattern is not a 505, okay? Knobs, a lot more spaced out, kind of more like a moto uh, tire than the Cheater. The 505 knobs are pretty close together. I can also say that it doesn't quite have the grip of the 505 in the rocks. It, uh, the 505 tends to hook up a little bit better in the really like off camber wet rocks. It's definitely a softer compound, but where I found this thing working a lot better was in the kind of side hill loose dirt where I feel like the 505 falls apart and slides a lot. This thing, because of these side knobs and being more spaced out, I felt like it worked way better uh, than the 505. Price-wise, they're about the same. I forget exactly what the 505 costs, but it's pretty close. I'm a lot happier with this than the 505 Cheater. Um, I didn't get to get it in any real mud. That's the other place the 505 let me down uh, numerous times was in mud. It would just kind of ball up and spin. Now I know that Shinko makes the 525 cheater that works better in the mud, but I hear that thing comes apart in about 200 miles. As you can see from this thing, that's over 200 miles of pretty hard beating. Like some of this stuff right here, you can see going, it's gnarly. Now I want to show a clip to you here real fast of a section you can actually hear me talking over the bike Good. <laughs> yeah. 
you can hear me say, okay, this is going to test it. That was those rocks were super wet. There's some mud down in between them. There's roots in there. They're all kind of crazy, jumbled up. And you can hear the bike. It never goes bang and spins because the tire was hooking up the whole way through it. Super impressed with that. That's a pretty steep, pretty gnarly little section of the Timberline Trail. And honestly, the tire did great. It does not have the grip of the Kenda Ibex, but it also doesn't look like the Kenda Ibex did after 180 miles of Sargent. So I am stoked. In fact, I am so stoked that I um, became a dealer for Rocky Mountain and I have three of these tires in stock, right? And I'm gonna try to keep at least a couple here all the time. From us, just so everybody knows, they're gonna be $65 because I had to pay freight to get them here and um, you have to pay freight from Rocky Mountain unless you order enough stuff. But if you order just a tire, you pay freight on it. So um, from us, they're gonna be 65. Um, I still think that's a great deal. Also, that means they're here. You don't have to wait for them. You can come down and pick one up. Super happy Tusk Recon hybrid tire. Big thumbs up for me. Probably gonna be my go-to tire for a while. I'm gonna test it against the X30. I've got two sets of wheels for this bike. Um, so I can, I can go out and test the X30 back to back with this thing. But I think honestly the grip in the rocks is quite a bit better. So hope you guys like that. If you like our stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. And also we're going to be doing a ton of reviews. Also, we are dangerously close to having our first thousand subscribers on here. And I'd love to hit that number. So if you guys don't mind, share this thing, like, give us a thumbs up. Comment below what you guys want to hear me talk about next. What kind of tests you want to do. If you are a manufacturer who thinks you got something that can hold up to what we do to motorcycles and parts, then get in touch with me, Morgan, at highland-cycles.com. Or you can comment below and I will get back to you. And uh, we'll give you a real honest opinion. No messing around. Guys, have a great day. Spread the gospel of two wheels everywhere you go. Spread happiness, joy, love in the world, and make sure you find some time to ride your dirt bikes!